द टर्म डी ट्राई इज सिग्निफिकेंटली एसोसिएटेड विथ टेस्ट ऑटोमेशन इट डजेंट मैटर इफ इट इज ए वेब टेस्ट ऑटोमेशन और ए पी आई टेस्ट ऑटोमेशन वी वॉन्ट टू डी ट्राई ऑन फेलियर बिफोर वी मार्क एनी टेस्ट केस फेल आई एम आमोद एंड वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल डी टारगेट कॉमन In this video we will learn the try mechanism provided by creative framework suppose we are hitting an api and it gives you 500 it is possible that sometimes api does not give expected response in first attempt so obviously we should retry if any api is giving 500 or we are not getting any expected result in the response then we need to retry for an example suppose you created a new entry using the api and you have a get call to retrieve that data so sometimes it takes time for the database operation and your get api might not return the value so you need to retry after some time so that you can get the newly created value so let's see what mechanism karate famous provides you to retry so in karate we have built in support for retrying an http request until a certain condition has been met so we have something called retry until this retry until takes two configuration first configuration is called count this is how many time we want to retry and another we have interval which is time interval between two retries and if you don't set the value then by default it will try three times with the pole interval of 3000 millisecond that is 3 seconds that is the default value but we can configure it any time we can globally configure using the karate config file or we can put it for any scenario specifically as well that i am going to show you but before i show you the example i want to explain how internally it is going to work so suppose as of now we have set the configuration where count value is 3 and interval is 5 second and i hit any api and i am putting the retry condition that if my api is not return me 200 then i need to retry so suppose at 12 5 and 0 second we hit the api and it gives me 500 status code that means i need to retry because i am expecting status code should be 200 so immediately it is not going to retry we have given the interval of 5 seconds so before performing first retry it is going to wait for 5 seconds that means first retry will be perform at 0 5 seconds this will be my number 1 retry suppose first retry also fails then it is going to wait for another 5 second so next retry will be perform at 12 05 10 so this will be my number 2 retry suppose it fails again then it is going to wait for another 5 second and the last try will be performed at 12 05 15 and suppose this is also failed then the finally it will come out from the retry loop and it will give me like your test case is failed after retry let's see this in example now so we are going to use serve token api we have this api which gives us token if you pass everything correctly then we will get the token in the response but just for the retry logic i am going to change v2 to v21 so that it will give me 404 not found because this api endpoint is not correct so let me write basic syntax so given url let me copy please note i am copying the incorrect endpoint let me pass the request body this is a post call so method will be post and i am expecting status as 200 let me run and we know that this is going to fail because it will give me 404 so status is not 200 and it will fail then and there so here you can see it directly failed in first attempt it has not retried but what i want i want before it fails i want to retry so to achieve that we need to use the keyword called retry until and that keyword we need to use before the method call means line number 13 so let me use anything you can use like and retry until and here i need to give the condition condition is response status code should be 200 so here i need to use the variable response status equal to 200 we know that these variables are inbuilt in karate framework please note we should not use this status because whatever response body response status code everything is generated that is stored in some specific variables which i have already covered in my previous videos now if i retry it is going to retry for 
डिफॉल्ट वैल्यूज वट इज द डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू काउंट विल बी थ्री एंड इंटरवल विल बी थ्री सेकेंड्स लेट वी रीडन इट Now let's see the log. So first time it is giving me 404 not found, and you can see one statement: retry condition not satisfied. Response strategy not 200. Okay, so it is sleeping before retry one. So it is going to wait for three seconds, which I explained some time ago. Again after three seconds it is going to retry, and again it will give me 404, and it is going to wait for second retry, and it is giving the same message like retry condition not satisfied. If we come down further. you can see it is going to retry again and finally it is failing because all retry attempt are over let me show you the report else if you click on this html link and go to feature then you can see the statement then method post it is taking more than 8 seconds and if you expand it here you will see how many times it has retry now suppose you want to decide how many times you want to retry and what should be the interval for that we can configure the values at scenario level or at the configuration level so let's see how we can configure at scenario level first so to configure the values at scenario level we have one keyword called configure and the variable name is retry okay we cannot change it and it is going to take one json object in this json object first key will be count which is like how many times you want to retry suppose i want to retry five times and we need to define interval which is 5 second anything you can pass but we need to pass in milliseconds so 5 second means 5000 milliseconds if i run this scenario now it is going to retry for 5 times let me run and show you so you can see execution is over and if you see the log sleeping before retry number 4 so obviously it has tried for 5 times and if you come down finally you can see like too many retry attempts 5 means it has exhausted the number of retry attempts that's why it is giving you this error message so this way you can configure the retry for one scenario or for this feature file if you use the background keyword but suppose you want to configure this at global level for that we can use karate config file so if i go to this project here at the bottom we see karate hyphen config .js. So to set the configuration value in the karate hyphen config dot js, we need to use karate dot configure, and this is going to take key and value. So key will be retry, and value will be JSON object. So let me copy this and paste in in the config file, and I am going to comment this line. Let me run this scenario, and we can see it is going to retry for five times. So you can see execution is over, and if you come down, it is trying for first time. then all the way down you can see number 3 number 4 and finally it is failing with too many retry attempts so this way you can configure the retry configuration at the global level what will happen if we define the retry at config level also and at scenario level also so let me put the count as 6 here let's see which is taking the priority here let me run this scenario so you can see execution is over and if you come down you can see here too many retry attempts six. so if you define at both the levels like configuration and scenario level then it will take the scenario as priority so it is trying for six times here we can pass multiple conditions you can use and operator or or operator and you can pass the condition suppose we get the response and i need to perform some calculation on that response before i decide i want to retry or not and obviously doing all those calculation in the feature file will not be easy task i am going to create a java method in which i will pass the response and based on that return type of that method i want to retry i have already one utility package in my project where i have a class json utils here i am going to create one method public static return type will be boolean and uh, method name i will give one or retry and it is accepting one response so string response you can have anything here and i am going to have one sys out retrying and here simply i am passing return true i am going to call the java method here utils and java dot type here and to pass the full path so json utils is in this package and i will use the dot 
pass the class name which is json utils since i have created this method as static so no need to create any object i can call this method directly instead of this type of condition i am going to call utils dot my method name which is wanna retry and this is expecting a string value so i am just passing karate dot to string which will be my so instead of using this type of condition i am calling one java method which will give me the boolean value so here i am missing one closing code so let me put that and here also i need to put the closing parenthesis let me rerun so if you see the logs first time it is giving me 404 that is printing retry okay but actually it has not retried if you see this method again i am passing return true that means it has not satisfied the retry condition because retry until expects false here then only it is going to retry so if i change return true to return false and these run this time you can see it will retry for total six times so you can see execution is over and if you come down you can see it has tried like retry number two and all the way down then you should see here too many retry attempt six so obviously you can call any java util to decide retry condition but make sure what kind of boolean value you are returning if you want to retry then return false if you don't want to retry return true so you need to be little careful when you use the java method to decide retry logic so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone